Welcome back, everybody. My name is Tank. Today is September 17, 2021, and we are talking about Bitcoin. Now, today's video, we're only going to be talking about Bitcoin leading into this weekend because I really do think that's the only thing that matters. If Bitcoin pumps, the rest of the market is going to pump, and if Bitcoin dumps, you know what's going to happen. So let's go ahead and jump on into Bitcoin's four-hour time frame and use Market Cipher as our primary oscillator indicator tool and figure out where we are and where we might be going in the short to near future. So the first thing that I'm seeing here on Market Cipher A, which is the top section of the charts, is look how well we went from the 13th of this month was just a few days ago when we were at a low for Bitcoin at $43,400, give or take, up to the 200 SMA, which is this white line right here, the simple moving average. We pumped up from that low and just stuck ourselves right next to the SMA and we didn't stray away from it, guys. You guys know this saying, with every pump, there's a dump, and with every dump, there's a pump. There's usually ebbs and flows with a really big move. This time, the strength was so good that it just stuck right there next to the 200 EMA. That is showing really good strength coming from the Bitcoin bulls. The fact that we didn't retrace back even halfway from where we pumped is an extremely bullish signal coming from the Bitcoin bulls. Now, on the other side of things, of course, we are dealing with some sell pressure coming from the Bitcoin bears and these option traders who are bears trying to short the market. They're trying to convince people right now to short the market with them. They're trying to get people to sell off their positions by making whatever moves they can make to convince people to go down further because they need their options to be met. Now, you guys know how shorting works, right? If they are unable to convince us to short the market or sell off our positions and get them the lower price point, they are going to be committed into buying more Bitcoin, driving the price up further. So if we just hold the line here, we will get these bears to do the dirty work for us, guys. We will teach them a lesson not to short Bitcoin, especially when there was a golden cross taking place. Now, the golden cross is an extremely bullish signal on the daily time frame but that doesn't mean that it always has to 100 percent play out so i will say be cautious right now guys just because the majority of the time golden crosses lead to extreme gains it doesn't always necessarily have to play out that way guys i'm just being cautious and letting you guys know be prepared at all times and you guys know what i always say there's only three things that have ever happened in this market we're either going to dump we're going to go sideways or we're going to pump, right? So if you're ready at all times for any of those situations to happen, you'll last a lot longer in this game. So not saying don't get into the market just yet. Not saying that I'm convinced that we're going to dump. I'm just saying when people think that they have the market licked, that they have things figured out, that's usually when the market makers like to put you on your head. We've seen it happen way too many times in the past, right? Don't forget about the pain you felt back here, guys. It can happen it can now more than likely i do suspect that everything will play out to the upside especially if we just keep holding this line right here on the sma i do what does that look like to you guys by the way gone figure it out but i do think if we just hold the line we'll make these bears do the work for us not to say that i'm not prepared for manipulation because i am i personally have gotten my foot wet just a little bit and i'm waiting to see how things play out before getting any more body parts of myself wet and putting any more money into the pot i'm, I'm using horrible anal analogies i'm sorry but uh yeah not financial advice you do you if you have to sell right now you know different strokes different folks i get it i'm just saying zoom out do your homework on and off the charts you'll see that we can get these bears to do the dirty work for us we can get them to drive up the price for us just don't sell we just got to get throughout the day that's it options close later on today just hold, hold the line. With that being said, let's take a look real quickly at Market Cipher B on the four hour time frame and see what they are showing us there on Market Cipher B. The RSIs are now trying to go sideways here. They were pointing straight down, but they are starting to go sideways here. We do have money flow still with us. So the momentum is still with us, guys. The momentum is still with us. Hold the line. Hold the line. Last thing I want to show you guys is the Fibonacci retracement from our recent high down to where we started this pump. The other thing I want to show you guys is we are lining up quite perfectly to the 0.786 Fibonacci line as resistance. We bounced off that 0.618, came back up to this next Fib, and of course met up with the 200 SMA uh, and a big level of resistance 
previously for Bitcoin's price. So it is to be expected, especially as we lead into the weekend, that we are more than likely going to just kind of bounce off it underneath that ceiling for now before seeing higher price points and making these bears drive us up further. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do me a favor, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I actually have a giveaway happening on this channel where I'm giving away a 15 inch flat screen TV to one lucky subscriber once we hit 1000 subs here on YouTube. But that's what I do think is more than likely going to be playing out for Bitcoin as long as nothing crazy happens, as long as people don't get extremely bearish, and as long as people don't get shook, we will make these bears do our work for us. I hope you guys are in profits. I hope you guys are realizing profits as you go. Stay blessed. Peace.